going on everybody all right i want to come at you with a little quick video here about the uh woozy audio zk as 21 versus the ht 21 everybody's been wanting me to do a review tell you what i think which one's better etc <clears throat> okay straight off the bat the as 21 sucks I think it sucks. I don't like it. Um, obviously, it's claim power output of, uh, you know, 220 by 2 and 350 for sub. I mean, that's just not possible with this amp, um, <clears throat> especially given the power supply that you would need to use to even be able to achieve that amount of power uh, would be ridiculously expensive. Um, but now over to the... Uh, HT21, and the reason we're doing this video is because last week I uh, I fried it. I bought a sub, and little or uh, unknown to me, it had a bad voice coil. And so when I hooked it up, the sub shorted out, and it sent a wonky signal to the amp. <clears throat> and so it fried it. So I'm not sure if it was just because of a load impedance or uh, what, but. It fried the ZKHT21, and so I ordered another one because I like it so much. And then this one came in the mail, and I was like, "Well, okay, that's fine. This one ought to be better, anyways, because it's more power, right?" No, it seems like it has more power, but all it is is everything is boosted. The signal is boosted by uh, I would have uh, well on the thing here it says. Uh, By 30 db and they ain't lying the stereo channels <clears throat> have no filtration on them it seems um it seems like the stereo channels have just as much bass output as the sub channel and that's not good uh not good at all especially if you don't have any equalizations or any kind of uh, crossover network or anything to use and you're just relying on this amp you can't really do a whole lot with it. You, even if you turn the bass all the way down on the stereo channel, it didn't do no good. And some people are asking, does this amp have bass output? And I didn't know what you meant, because whenever I use it, well, sure, the sub moved and it made noise, but I guess the Zenyi or whatever, the uh, other one that's like this, doesn't have much bass output. And so I got to messing around, and that's the same way with this one versus the HT21. The HT21 has an amazing output for the sub output and the stereo channels. <clears throat> the AS21, however, seems to lack an output. Again, as I was saying, everything is just boosted. It's like they took the, uh, not even the HT21, but like the MT21 and just used those chips and just boosted the signal. And here you go. I don't know. It, I just didn't like the amp. Again, as I was saying, the stereo channel has a lot of bass output. It's real boomy. Um, and not in a good way. Uh, and then the sub output, <clears throat> I will agree, as some of you were asking, it does not have much output compared to this one or even the MT21. Uh, especially for what? What was this? Like 70 something dollars? So, yeah. Um, in my last video, I was also wondering how you could change the uh, voltage gain because it says you can change right there. But there's no manual, there's no instructions, no nothing. So, I got on Google Play Store and I typed in Woozy Audio. And what that will bring up is a little uh, equalizer app. And it's blue. I'll try to put a picture in if I can. <clears throat> or I'll leave a link in the description as well. So, uh, <clears throat> I downloaded this app. And it pairs to this. Now, this is how you can change, quote-unquote, the 30 dB. Okay, I'll admit, you can change some settings around there. Now, this app, it has a main volume and it has a bass and treble. Sort of like this is set up. And on the layout, you can change the volume, <clears throat> and it will adjust. 
I'm assuming the chip volume, I'm not sure because it does not change the uh, main volume. So it just, yeah, it just <clears throat> adjusts the voltage gain. And uh, <clears throat> it just, I don't know, it, it just sucks. The app sucks. It's not very good. The EQ on the app sucks as well. Um, I, I'm just not. I just do not do not like this amp. So, uh, <clears throat> and I really wanted to like it because I like Woozy Audio. Um, I'm not going to buy the other brand, the Cine or whatever. I'm not gonna try that because I like the Woozy Audio stuff, and it's pretty much the same. So just a different brand name slapped on it. So <clears throat> I'm going to stick with the Woozy Audio. I'm going to stick with using the ZK HT21 because it's a good amp. Again, I do not recommend this amp. Um, you could try it if you want. You may, you may think that, well, it's 220 watts by 2 and 350, and this one's only, uh, you know, the whatever it is the 160 by 2 and 220 for sub but let me tell you the HT21 is a much better buy for sure um, and I think it's like 20 bucks less or so so yeah <clears throat> now between all the, the amps I've had I have, I've had the MT21 and, and uh, this one and this one this is a good buy. With the HT21, you do get more output, it seems, given you are using the proper power supply. Now, I am using a 36 volt, 10 amp power supply, and it works nicely with this one. Um, the base output on this is great. You're going to, well, just like on these, you can adjust it and everything, but with this one, it's not, it's not boomy like a boosted. I should say, um, great sound, uh, etc. Um, so, so yeah, I'm just mumbling on right now, but yeah, the HT21 versus the AS21. This is poop. This is good. That's just my thoughts. That's just my opinion. Um, as I said, you could try it out yourself, and maybe, uh, maybe with. A certain setup maybe it'll sound good I don't know I was using uh, some 8 ohm Sony towers I think it's the 5550 H's or something like that it has the uh, 8 inch yellow sub in it with the mid and tweeter and then also paired with my American bass VFL 8 in my transmission line and uh, <clears throat> I just was not impressed with the HT21, it's super loud in a good way. The bass is incredible. Uh, I'll get a video soon. Um, and speaking of subs, I've got many new subs in. I've got the VFL8 in. I've got a CT Sound Strato in. I have a Sundown SA V3 in. Um, and maybe a couple others that I've not done a video on yet, but I will do a video on soon. Uh, or unboxing, I guess I have to say. I've just been so busy with work that I've not had time to <clears throat> keep you guys updated and, and so on. But, okay, yeah. Uh, just, again, this amp sucks. The HT21. I can get it out of the box here. This is a good buy. Goodbye. Bad bye. Poop. So, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> also, to know, I don't know if that app would work with this. I wouldn't assume so, but I also do not suggest it. <clears throat> um, again, I'll try to leave a link to that app and all that stuff, but. Okay, guys, uh, this has been like five minutes of me just rambling on. Um, so, yeah. As I said again many times, this amp is not that good. I didn't like it. This amp, I do like. 
a nice bass, plenty of bass, uh, and stereo sound. So, yeah. All right, guys. Enough rambling. I'll leave links in the description, etc. And I'll try to get some more videos up here soon of the subs and um, <clears throat> some uh, of the subs being powered by this. I would do some videos of stuff being powered by this. I'm just so disappointed in it. It's not worth it. Um, if any of you guys have one, <clears throat> please comment down in the comment section of what you think of it. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe I should mess with it some more. But I just, I messed with it for a couple of weeks or so and I just couldn't get any quality sound out of it. Again, the stereo channels are boomy. Um, <clears throat> the bass lacks output as well. So, yeah. But uh, everything else, though, works the same as you know, the uh, button and all that stuff. And the USB is on the rear. Versus on the front on here, but that's whatever. So, again, I suggest going with the HT21. Um, it's a great amp for around the 50 or so dollars. So, and uh, besides this happening, but that's that wasn't my fault. That was the uh, owner of the previous sub, or previous owner of the subs. So, not letting me know that I was blown, but anyways. Rambling on again. All right, guys. Have a good one. See you later.